there are two trigger points that are of great, great importance. The first one is here. This is trigger point number one. This trigger point occurs in the free edge of the trapezius muscle and it occurs where the lateral fibers turn around and become vertical in the angle of the, of the neck and the shoulder. This is the most common trigger point in the human body. It is uh, more common than any other occurring anywhere, which makes it really, really important to know about. When this trigger becomes active, it will refer pain in a very particular pattern. It will refer it upwards to the base of your skull, and then it will refer vaguely into the back of the head and much more strongly into the temple on the same side of your head. Now this is the typical tension headache. This is again an incredibly common human complaint and trigger point number one is one of the most important causes of a classic tension headache. Trigger point two. This occurs also in the free edge of the trapezius muscle. I'll just digress here for a minute. There are a number of flat muscles which occur around the body. There is the trapezius, there is the latissimus dorsi, the gluteus maximus, the pectoralis muscles. All of these are, are large flat muscles and the most vulnerable areas of these muscles are in the free edge of the muscle so you can be able to lift it up lift up the free edge and use a pinching feeling to find it so trigger point number two is halfway along this free edge it's also a very very common trigger point when active the pain starts where the trigger is and will refer across the trapezius, up the neck and end up in the base of the skull. The commonest place for the real concentration of the pain is the base of your skull. And you know this is another perfect example of um, how if you understand trigger points someone who comes in complaining of pain at the back of the head and if all you do is examine this area you literally miss the point so trigger point number two very very common and causes this pattern of pain but with a significant concentration in the base of the skull people who present with pain which arises from the base of the skull and runs across the head. This is a very common presentation and there are a number of different possible diagnoses for this presentation. You must always remember the trigger points is only one of them and a common alternative diagnoses are tension headaches, atypical facial neuralgia, uh, obviously you may get pain in your head due to more serious intracranial problems. Uh, the thing that most people would think of as tumors or bleeds, uh, some kind of other abnormality going on inside your brain. So it's important to remember that if somebody presents with trigger points and you treat those trigger points and the symptoms still remain, then there is an alternative diagnosis that you need to consider and that needs to be investigated further.